Doggies and Dilip here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and this is the VHS shader effect that Exceldro has made. He made it a little while ago, I've been wanting to do this video for a little bit, and it is super cool. I absolutely love this shader filter, and there's a load of cool things that we can do with it. Without further ado, let's get into it. Put your rock with the stone, let's blow this place up! So we're going to need a couple of things to get started. That is the shader filter plugin. You guys should already have it, have it if you are actually been subscribed to me and seen any of my previous videos and also the shader itself. So we're going to jump to the shader filter uh, section on the OBS website. The link is in the description and how to download it. I'll leave a video down below as well so I'm not taking up your time today. And we're going to download the actual shader itself on Excel Drops GitHub. Please consider becoming a member on his uh, GitHub or even Patreon or anything like that because this guy literally is innovating streams left, right, and center. He is an incredible guy. So we're just going to press raw just here, and he's going to open up pretty much a text document, and we're going to right-click and press save as. Once we're on here, you'll see that the save file type is going to be a TXT. We want to say all files, and then we're going to delete dot txt off the end so it's just vhs dot shader press save we can save that anywhere we like if you want it saving to your, the actual folder where all your shaders are then you want to copy it from your desktop you won't be able to save it there directly because it's probably on your c drive and then we're going to go into the pc and c drive and then go program files or program files 86 we're going to go to your obs dash studio folder all lowercase once in here we're going to press data plugins and then we'll go down to obs shader filter all lowercase as well and then you'll see an examples bit just here and we can paste it directly into this folder i already have mine in it ready to go so let's open up the old obs so i'm using a mirrored camera as always if you want to learn how i did that there's a video link probably up here down there somewhere shake it all about and we're going to right click and go to filters and we're going to add an effect filter just here the effect we're going to add is a user defined shader because we've installed the plugin already and we could call it anything i'm just going to call it vhs for now and press ok and once we're on this page we need to press load text uh, shader from text file press browse and it should bring you directly to the uh, examples uh, page that we saved it to uh, which is just there or just navigate to wherever you've saved it to on your computer we're gonna double click the vhs shader filter and you'll see straight away it started having a bit of an effect and it's doing stuff there are so many settings on this that i don't really want to get too much into it right now because there are a, a ton of different things that you can do with it okay so you can change the range on how it looks and stuff like that so you can see it's going a bit more blocky now uh, i quite like it on range zero you can fiddle about with more stuff as well so the noise quality as well so if i drop that down to say one there's not a lot of noise if i do a hundred a thousand you can see the increase in noise uh, and so on so have a little fiddle with the settings there's no right and wrong answer it's just what you want to do and here's a bonus tip for you if you've got the move transition plugin you could do a move value as well so once on move value um we're going to add that in select the filter which is going to be the vhs filter that we've just added just there and we can do either single setting or multi setting so this is how i did my intro that you just saw if i change all these to zero i'm going to leave the noise quality on one but everything else to zero i'm going to choose a custom amount of time so i'm going to say um we'll say uh, we'll say two seconds and I'm not going to worry about too much easing. Uh, you could change all that if you wanted to. And then that is everything just done there. As soon as I press this button, if you watch the, uh, the example in the background, when I press it, we'll start going to normal. Just like that. And that is the VHS shader filter. It's so awesome. Like I say, consider becoming a Patreon over at, with Exceldro or myself. It really helps out with those guys that are really trying to change how streaming works. All right. Put your rock with the stone. I'll see you in the next one. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.